our project is gigs and our motto is meet the music so today i'm just going to be going over we already went over the prototype demo um i'm also be going to be going over the graphic render so what's supposed to look like eventually uh, as well as market value social value marketing strategy that includes competition um, future development sort of five to ten year plan and then we'll take questions uh, okay so starting with the prototype basically what is it uh, Hasib already explained it's an app designed for musicians all over the city to organize meetups for both casual casual and large-scale music events um, in terms of demographics our target age bracket is 18 to 25 so Millennials and Gen Z um, currently in Toronto so that's a uh, where we're starting off um, in terms of psychographics, obviously artists, more specifically musicians, and also pe just people within the industry who are interested in socializing and building a network. So for the graphic renders, I'm going to, you guys have already seen a lot of it, but I'm just going to like skim through these. Um, so here we have the homepage, uh, login. So this is what it's supposed to look like eventually. So this is where, you know, you say yes or no, you see the profile of the person, uh, you know, you can either skip or chat with them. There's the chat we saw in the demo. Um, this is where, you know, this is your profile, which you see, so you can add pictures, uh, you can have your profile, your information. Um, this is another example. So this is where you edit your profile. This is where you see your previous matches. And if you, this is just an error page. So if you have no more matches to view, you see this like we saw in the demo. Um, okay, so back to the presentation. Okay, so starting off with marketing, market value. Um, so this has mostly to do with how do we monetize the app? So I found three main ways that we would monetize. Uh, so first being advertising revenue, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, uh, people would pay to have their advertisements. You guys know how it works. Basically, uh, you would get money from showcasing advertisements on your app. And if people paid for uh, plans and memberships, they wouldn't have to deal with that. Uh, second would be promotion revenue. So teaming up with uh, individual artists or music companies who want to promote their work or their events even. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, on the website or the app itself. And third is paid plans and memberships. So here you can see we have three different kinds, silver, gold, and platinum, which each pertain to a different type of user. Um, so each have their own advantages. Um, some of them include, you know, VIP access to events, music event and promotion slots, um, event invites, and discounts and limited offers. So in terms of social value, you know, what does this contribute to society? Uh, first of all, I think the general goal of the app is to create a social platform for musicians to connect and share their talents and similar interests. So uh, that brings us to a second point. It's also a networking opportunity for artists, for, for people within the industry to create connections that will help them later on in their careers. It's really great for artists who are just starting especially. Uh, and third, just in general, a safe and sp a safe space to nurture growth and talent with people who like understand what you do and understand the industry you're in. Um, so in terms of marketing for promotion, keeping in mind our age uh, target demographic, uh, gen, uh, gen Z and millennials, social media is definitely the way to go, especially Instagram, but among that, uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn are all uh, obviously options. Um, in terms of our website, I'm actually going to run you guys through it really fast. Um, let me just go to that. Okay, so here's the website I made. Um, so I'm just going to skim through it. So here, you know, we have a little thing about what the app does, building community through music. Uh, you can read more. So it tells you about the features and functions. Um, I'm not going to read that out loud right now, but there's also an FAQ page, um, and this is where we would um, have our artists that we promote, so they can buy, so viewers can buy the track or whatever is promote, being promoted here, and we would get a cut of that, so that's how that monetization aspect works. Um, so here we have the upcoming events, so we would showcase events as well, so people can pay to have their events 
um, shown on the website. So here it tells you, you know, the date, the time, where it is, also a little blurb about what it's for, and you can RSVP. Some of these have tickets that people would pay for, we would also get a cut of that. Um, and that's just our contact info, plus like testimonials from people. I mean, these are fake, but, you know, eventually these would be filled up with actual people's testimonials, and as well as uh, review. So, Sorry. So that's for marketing and promotion. So next is competition. So with any company, any brand, any app, there's always going to be competition. And our main two are Facebook and gig groups. Um, and we've been go going into the pros and cons of each. So for Facebook, obviously, everybody knows what that is. It's, a, it's an established um, like community where there's groups and communities for every single niche out there. However, the flaws within that are that the individual actually has to make the effort to reach out. And the thing about our app is that it takes away that extra level of inconvenience and adds in comfort because they're looking for you too. So in Facebook, you have to actually make the effort to like reach out and you know you don't know if they're going to reject you you don't know if they actually want to collab with you it's also difficult to get to higher ups um, because you know they're not going to respond but uh, also facebook just isn't as popular with gen z which is part of our target demographic um, nobody i know my age uses facebook really um, so th those are the flaws within that um, our second competitor is gig groups. So I searched it up and it's this website uh, where people from all over the world, basically, they post their music events, but these are large scale music events. So it doesn't account for small get togethers. So what if you know you and you wanna like, I don't know, get together with somebody who plays guitar and just have a jam session. Like it doesn't address that kind of get together. Um, it, Although it does have global out outreach, it only exists in website form, so there's no app. Um, and it doesn't offer any other services or features. It's, all the, it's good for its niche. Um, and it's not user-friendly from what I've seen. Um, so I'm gonna pass it on to Hasib. Uh, yeah, just, just leave it open. I just yeah, leave sorry. your screen share off and then you talk over it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to talk about market placement. So obviously, there's the big three, the Apple Store, the Google Play Store, and the Android App Store. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to put them on the app, on those stores, and uh, people can download the app off of there. There's yeah. not much to say about that. Yeah. So last but not least, I'm just going to be talking about our future development. So um, five to ten year plan. So we have four main goals in mind. First being establishing a marketplace. So basically the concept is an online store uh, where musicians can sell instruments and other products. It'd just be in another extension of the app or the website. Um, and uh, it's just another aspect of monetization where we would take a cut of whatever they sell it for, so a percentage. Um, so second being globalization, expanding to other major cities, uh, for example, New York or Los Angeles, eventually even to other continents like Asia. Um, I think the US is a good place to start for that. Um, so third, credibility. I think even before expanding to other places, I think establishing credibility is really important. So seeing as we're, we're starting in Toronto and that's the originating city, it would be useful to become a household name in the Toronto music scene, as well as you know get to the scale and get to the level that we can organize company events. Um, and fourth is partnerships. So not only just promotions, but also actual partnerships with other musicians and other companies, individual artists, to promote content and events on a larger paid scale. So we can, you know, it's a two-way gain. So they, we gain followers from, you know, their fan base and they gain notoriety from ours. Um, so that was all. Thank you all so much for listening. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, now would be the time to voice them. Full name anymore. I want to be called uh, Test One now. Right? So my name is Test One now. That's great. So anybody else who's using the app will be able to see that. Let's save that information. So anybody else who's using the app will be able to see that. So that's a lot of information that you can give out. And um, you can choose to not fill those in like uh, 
I was doing on the Hasib account. So let's look at our matches. And on our matches, uh, this is actually all the people that you have liked or you have said yes to, and they have said yes back to you. So uh, as you can see, I've said yes to Hasib just now, Naomi and Gia and Gia. Actually, I want to chat with her, right? So um, I can press chat and I can, you know, communicate with her, maybe set up a meeting or whatever. Um, and this is just an example, obviously, of maybe like, okay, I'm saying hi and she's saying hi back. And, and from this, we can start um, deciding, okay, when are we meeting up? Maybe we're going to do Zoom call or whatever. Um, so that's basically mostly all the functions of the app. Uh, so like I said, it's basically like Tinder, but instead of finding love, you're finding um, people to collaborate with for music and whatnot. Um, so let's go back and yeah, so that's the whole demo. Uh, 